this was just to show you that it's so much easier to remove the transmission without disassembling the interior, taking out the shifter and everything. And it's very simple to do. So this car didn't have the rubber boot that goes around this piece that actually slides into the shifter itself. So it made it a little bit easier, but you can just pull that rubber boot back and it'll show a little cotter pin and a plastic washer on this end. Remove those and then this whole thing just will slide right out. And then the next thing that you have to do is there's these little pins here that go in and they slide down. And this is kind of what you'll see from the bottom looking up at the transmission. And you basically just pry this section up, wiggle it, and it will free itself. And then you're pretty much set. The transmission can be dropped. You don't have to remove the shifter assembly or anything else like that. And that in itself will save you a couple hours of time overall having to remove it and put everything back together. Just makes this job so much easier. Here is the shift linkage where, where it's rusted there. That's actually the shifter itself. So. Uh, I believe there's usually like a rubber boot or something like that that goes around this. So on here, what you do is there's a little cotter pin there. So you pull that out and then you can remove that whole bar from the shifter itself. It's hard to tell, but right there in the center, there's these little slides and you push those towards the back of the vehicle and it releases the pin. And then you pull those out and that releases this whole piece right here from the transmission itself. So that way you can pull the whole thing. Otherwise, typically what you would normally do is go inside the car, remove the shifter, and then you come down here, remove these bolts, and then this whole thing would just come out as one. But we're not doing that, we're skipping that step, so this will be a little bit easier. Okay, so the pin on the passenger side comes out, there's enough space to pull it out. The driver's side one, it's just tight enough where you can't actually pull it all the way out. But you can pull that out as soon as you get these loosened up or taken out, so you can kind of shift the whole thing over and then you can pull that out and release it. So yeah, next video, which we'll upload pretty much right after this one, is going to be installing the new Competition Stage 2 clutch, as well as the resurface flywheel and the Varus clutch fork and the pivot ball as well.